Hello and welcome to Leno's Lockpad. Uh, there we are. We're on uh, Saturday. I was going to make a video on Friday. I was waiting for something, but it all turned up today. So, oh, something did turn up today, actually. But um, what I wanted to pick today were all it turned up today, which is Saturday. And it's an absolute honour for this. But first of all, I want to get this amazing pinning tray out of the way. A uh, good friend of mine, Ryan McCreary. Uh, I asked him a long time ago to design me a uh, pinning tray, a certain pin, pinning tray. And I completely forgot all about it. Uh, anyway, I got a message the other day asking if someone can send it to me. And what he did is he did a bit of collab, really, with um, Tony Worrell, who basically, Ryan designed it and Tony printed it off and sent it to me. Uh, and I finished it off today by painting it. Um, so this is my pinning tray. As you can see, it was black. It was the Ghostbusters emblem. Um, I've been a fanboy of Ghostbusters since he, the 80s, since it very first came out when I was a kid. Um, as you can see, we've got the um, we've got six indentations, uh, seven, sorry, for the pins. You get the core in either side. Um, and like I say, gave it a paint, painted it up, and I have now probably the only person in the world at the moment who has a Ghostbusters pinning tray. Uh, that's actually functional, but big thank shout out and a massive thank you to Tony Worrell and Ryan McCreary for Sorting this out for me legends We're gonna use that today actually and here we go for another one is I've not done a challenge lock in a long time and Somebody sent me uh, a challenge lock um, It's the first time they've ever made one and I was absolutely shocked I thought this person had made a few before and he hasn't and it's my extremely good friend, awesome picker, Mr. Hobby Picker, number one. Um, gutting, turn the key into an indentation core and use a hollow follower. Even comes with instructions on the key ring, which is awesome. There's the bitting. Now, Ethan, uh, uh, he asked me if he could send me this. I said, an absolute honor, as uh, it works nice and smooth. Um, the indentation you're talking about is, as you see, Wants me to make sure that this dot lines up with that dot when I uh, got it. And the reason why he wants me to use a hollow follower is, as you can see, the core is smaller on this side. Um, yeah, Ethan, when I very first started lock picking, I think, uh, to, uh, I think he was one of the very first subscribers that I ever had. I know he was one of the uh, first people ever to send me a... Um, well, the first time we have a uh, person to ever send me a parcel or trade, if you get what I mean. I'd never done anything before, uh, got anything before, and I was, obviously didn't know anybody. Um, and Ethan uh, asked me if I wanted uh, a package, and I certainly said, yeah, and he sent me my very first parcel, which is uh, a big thank you to Ethan for that. Um, Going to use this uh, kick holder as the indentation in the bottom, which is perfect for these ones. As you can see, it slides in. Perfectly. It wouldn't slide into this one as it doesn't have a piece cut out at the bottom. So an absolute big thank you to Ethan as well, another legend. Absolute awesome picker. But I, I generally thought he'd made himself a couple of challenge locks, but I didn't, didn't realise he'd never actually made one. So to pick his first um, was is absolutely amazing for me because it was the very first one of the very first subscribers and very first parcel. So let's have a look. We use a Sparrows pry bar and we're gonna use a short hook um, this will either be my first ever picking fail I will get it open I have never done a picking for uh, uh, a whooped video ever so if I don't get this open it's over the very first whooped oh, we're gonna click off one click off two Oh, there we go, a little bit of counter, then it dropped in on one. But Ethan, mate, fantastic. Really am. So cool to uh, pick your very first challenge lot, mate. Get a bit of counter off of the number five. It's a six pin. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a default set now. Oh, we're open. There we go. Wow. Oh, that. Do you know what, Ethan? It wasn't as uh, easy as what it looked, but that was. Um, it's the feedback, mate. You give it absolutely great feedback. Uh, Bobby Keys is another one who does that. You know, his locks are tricky, but sometimes they can be a lot. Sometimes it, you can open them quite quickly, and it all because of um, because of the, uh, the feedback is so good. That's what I've always said. That it's one thing to new pickers. I always say as well. Um, if a lock talks to you a lot it's a lot easier to open than a lock that doesn't like to say anything at all if you get what I mean let's just turn this away a little bit so we got a good view there we go right um, so we put the key in it's catching just a t oh there we go it's catching just a tiny bit Let's get the uh, follow. There we go. So what he means by a hollow follower, if you uh, don't know what one is. It's definitely uh, stuck somewhere. We are got those two lined up properly. Just give me one second because I don't want to ruin the lock. Right, we've got it out. We've got it, but the follower still got stuck halfway through, and three of the pins popped out. Now I can look back on the video. I know where at least two of them went, but Ethan, please let me know which order they went in so we can get it exactly right. Oh, we've got some. We've got a little cut out here. That's. Uh, That's to set you in the really nice vault set. That then we've got six pin. Right, let's have a look. Let's get the tweezers. We want standard and two. Very nice work on that one, Ethan, mate. I don't know what you're saying about these pins, mate. You were saying, you know, they're probably a bit, uh, bit wonky or something, but they look absolutely fantastic, mate. So we have got nothing in one. We've got threading in two. Uh, counter milled, and we've got this groove cut. This to trap you, this. It's a big, dodgy fault set. Um... Standard in four, uh, threaded in five and six. Now we need to check out the magic in here. But before I do that, I'm going to put this, I'm going to use a push through with a standard follower so they all don't fall out of the center. So in one, really nice driver. Take that spring out. I'll put the spring there. Works perfectly. Number two. Oh, it's like a very large. Oh. I thought it was a pin and pin, it's not a pin and pin. We have put this around the other way. We have 
a drunken spool. Number three. Awesome. Really great work on these, Ethan, mate. Honestly. You've done a fantastic job. Number six. It's like a little T. Number five, sorry. It's like a T pin, spool, mismatch. It's actually a really nice pin. Definitely excellent work, mate. We're all standard springs. And in number six is a serrated. Got that last pin out. That spring, yep. Right, so I'll put all the springs in the tray next to each other because they're all they're all the same, which is a good thing. There we go. Need to separate these two. Trying to have a fight. And there we go. Uh, any work done in here? Nope, nothing in the Bible. I'll show you this pin work. Absolute fantastic work. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these up individually. I think in front of the light. So what standard in one in keeping in two Really nice serrations. Standard in three, in four. It's like slightly spooled at the end. There we go. Five. Some nice serrations on that. Really nice fine serrations. Great, like I say, really great work on these pins, mate. And some nice serrations on there. Driver one. It's like half a spool. Really nice work. Please let me know if these it's the drive that the drivers are all right. There's another one. Really nice work. Um number three, which I did, did come out of that one, is a tapar to a drunken spool, which is attached to a a, a large wafer. Number four. There we go. Oh, some serrated, some narrow ones and some wide ones. Absolute great work there, mate. Really is nice. And number five. See that? It's like a T pin and then serrations. And number six is alterations and flat at the top very nice work though absolute fantastic work ethan really enjoyed that mate uh, please let me know in the comments how those drivers went like i say i think there's only two that popped out the rest are okay but i'd like to make sure so before i put it back together again but um yeah absolute star so please check out hobby picker a big thank you uh to uh, Ryan McCreary and Tony Worrell, uh, absolute awesome guys, thank you very much, um, so I hope you enjoyed this, please give a like and subscribe, and bye, don't forget to like.